Welcome online, church family. It's a joy to have you on this Sunday following Easter Sunday. We're glad you came uh, or found a place or will find a place in your room or easy chair or somewhere, perhaps a hospital bed. Someone will be watching this week, and we just want to tell you we love you, and we're delighted to be able to come in to your home and fellowship and worship with you. I have a special for you this morning, a special treat. We have a young man by the name of Lawrence Tyler Jr. You can find him on Facebook, and uh, he has already shared a couple songs with us. He's going to share a couple more with us and with you before the message of the morning. Let you won't let go. You're afraid. 
because I was going to say, if you do it for him, you got to do it for the preacher at the end of the message. But you didn't applaud, so you just, you blew my thunder, that's it. You stole my line from me. Thank you, LT. I, um, I had an epiphany sitting there. I think you ought to do that once a month, don't you? <laughs> We are leading toward that because we're soon, just, just as a little secret, the people online don't know this, but we have drive-in services here through the summer and we're really making plans. We've already talked to our sister church and uh, we're gonna start lining them up for hopefully maybe June, July, August, September, uh, at least once a month, maybe more often. We alternate between the Towers residents and the Nagel residents, so we'll keep you posted. But we like being together. And one of the things is, LT has to sing every time we have one. So. This morning I invite you to turn to Gospel of John chapter 19. Now, um, on your course sheet that you received this morning, and you did get one of those, I know, on your course sheet, on the back of it, we left you enough room, those online, you can't see this, but I left you enough room on the back of it to write in the outline of the message this morning. Usually I am pretty topical in my messages. This morning we're gonna be pretty exegetical. And uh, by that we're gonna do a little more, stick more uh, closely to an outline of four words and I'm going to give you those four words in just a moment. So write down Roman numerals one, two, three, and four. Well, fortunately, I'm in a uh, more senior adult uh, congregation and they know what Roman numerals are. <laughs> uh, if there are any here under 30, they wouldn't know what I was even talking about. But uh, if you, the only reason I'm saying this is because I use Roman numerals in my outline. So I just thought you want to duplicate what I have here. Four, four words, four words based on the face of John the Revelator. We've been looking at faces around the cross. 
And I, as a pastor, often feel, as I do at Christmas time, the same at Easter, I think sometimes we as evangelicals take a, a one Sunday kind of holiday trip and look into the Word and spend one Sunday and as soon as Christmas is done we put the crash away and the wise men go back to Persia and the shepherds go back to the hillside and we keep them there for another year and then at Easter we kind of do the same thing we get the tomb pictures out and and the cross and the palms and the lilies and we have a kind of a one Sunday celebration and we call it Easter and then as soon as Easter's over we kind of put that back in storage and we move on but we're not doing that today. We're lingering at the cross today. We've been looking at faces around the cross. And we've looked at a, a, a plethora of faces, a, a number of different persons and personalities. Today, I think, is one of the most fascinating faces that was found at the cross, and that's the face of John. I invite you, and then I'll give you the outline. Let me read for you the scripture passage, if you have a Bible or tablet. John chapter 19, the Gospel of John chapter 19, down at verse uh, about 25, 26. Standing near the cross were Jesus, Jesus' mother, Mary, his aunt, the wife of Cleopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother standing there beside me, his close friend, no, uh, <laughs> no boasting there, just, oh yeah, Jesus, oh, his mother was standing by me. Uh, I'm, my name is John. He doesn't mention that, but I'm his close friend. I just want to throw that in uh, by his own evaluation. Now we're going to look at that briefly. Standing close to his friend, it, Mary standing by me close to his, his close friend that's John writing autobiographically he said to her he is your son and to me he said she is your mother and from then on I took her into my home four words they all begin with a the aunt a u n t as in relative the ant, the agape, A-G-A-P-E, the appointment, and the ambassador. Now, all four of these come out of or are related and connected to the person of John. Who was John? How did he get to this place? What do we know about him? Well, we know several things historically. Let me give you a little background. We'll exegete.